The 2019 25th Anniversary National Legends Cars Championship is sponsored by 24 Hour Solutions. No problems, only solutions. Hello and a very warm and sunny welcome to Snetterton for round 10 of the 24 Hour Solutions 2019 National Legends Cars Championship. Super Days Racing yesterday in round 9, today brings another day, hopefully a little bit more success say for Nathan Anthony who had three DNFs yesterday. A new driver joins the grid today, Chris Needham, so it's going to be all action. Let's go into the paddock and chat to a few of the drivers before racing gets underway. Superb to welcome Chris Needham to the championship. Chris, I caught up with you briefly off camera at Donington Park. We didn't realise your debut was going to be so soon, so how has this all come about? Uh, I didn't realise either, to be honest with you. Um, we got the car about three weeks ago. Uh, we were going to do a couple of test days this year and then have a go next year, but we got, it. We got a bit excited and we thought we'd put an entry in and have a go and just get stuck in. It's great to see, and uh, the ex-Paul Simkiss car, I think we've sadly lost Paul due to business commitments, but an opportunity to get a, a new driver. Is this, is this your first car race meeting? Yes, yeah, first ever car. I got my licence in the post on Thursday. Um, never had a roof over me, never had seatbelts on. Always been in a go-kart, so it's, uh, it's a bit different, yeah. On social media you were saying, you know, getting a little bit of attention in the week, and you were saying, oh, maybe I should have done a test first, but there's no real testing like racing, is there? No, there's no better way than just getting stuck in and seeing how everybody else out there is doing it and just, yeah, see how we get on. So Haraway, unusually we didn't get to interview you in round nine because you didn't get a podium, um, but good points scored nonetheless and, and closing in on, on the top three in the championship nonetheless. Yeah, we had a, we had a mixed bag yesterday. We had um, a couple of um, reasonable results in the heats and then in the final last race, uh, I felt like we were catching up to the pack and then the uh, the gear linkage snapped so just just really bad luck it snapped on the weld and it's just one of those things so uh, it was stuck in third gear for the last four laps so I just limped it home and um, got a finish got the points and then we'll go again today that sort of thing's crucial isn't it if you have something go wrong to nurse the car home a bag a decent load of points that you did in that race absolutely I mean so many times you find the fastest driver doesn't win the championship because um, you know, you need that consistency. You need to keep, keep finishing. Um, John's given us all the blueprint on how to do it. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll see you on the podium today. So, Rob, we're into round 10 now. Were there problems for you in the previous round? Yeah, a couple of niggly problems. In, in practice, we had a nut come off the oil cooler, so it, it uh, spilled a little bit of oil out, tightened that back up. First race, um, got got to got took out and then second and third race I was just really finding my feet again. So hopes for today? Hopefully Dave, finish all three again which is always a bonus. Uh, yeah and then just try to keep progressing up there uh, to see if we can get a little bit more competitive on the day. Mike's are coming into round 10. Practice tricky conditions this morning, how did that go for you? Uh, yeah, very tricky. Nice and dry on the way out. We thought, fantastic, let's uh, let's go for it. And then you come down the back of the Bentley straight under the bridge and it was properly wet. So everyone was uh, uh, finding it tricky to get uh, to get around that section and quorum. So we just put in a couple of laps just to shake the cars down, make sure everything was uh, bolted on properly. Everything seems to be fine. So uh, we're all set for race one. One of the differences that I note on, on these cars with Mickle Motorsport is you've got a screen in. So how does that benefit you here at Snap? That's been an interesting difference, yeah. We put them in uh, for the last meeting. Uh, first of all, the noise is completely different. Um, you don't have that massive wind rush. It's a much calmer environment. And actually, yeah, you can relax a little bit more. It's not quite so uh, brutal. And uh, it's amazing how many flies you catch as well on our windscreen. So uh, the helmet's a lot cleaner at the end of a race as well. But it does, yeah, it does make the driving um, conditions a bit more comfortable.
Great to welcome Chris Needham to the championship. As a new driver, he starts at the back, the multi-championship winning supercar driver. Superb to have him in the ranks of the legends. Here we go, ready for race number one, race four of the weekend, but race number one of round 10. The two yellow fellas together, Nathan Anthony and Paul Simmons. Mike Schlutt is in behind, but the front row of the grid, we've got Dave Ward, Rob King having to start from pit lane. You might remember, finished the third race in the previous programme without the bumper. And here we go, getting ready for the start. Marcus Pett and Dave Ward on the front row of the grid. John Mickle breaks ranks already, looks around the outside line. Sean Smithing 21, the black and red car on the inside line. Rob King, go from pit lane. And he's got a lot of work to do. We've seen drivers come through from pit lane and get podium positions in Legends this year, including a very quick race yesterday by Miles Rudman. John Mickle had to do the same thing as well. Out of Wilson hairpin, short straight, a little bit of a, an off-track excursion for Will Gibson, and that punishes him. You see how quickly James Hall Morton and Paul Simmons in yellow go through. I think that's Jack Parker showing up as well on the outside line in yellow and blue. Yesterday's outright winner as Rob Fountain goes momentarily onto the grass as well. Down into Agostino, though, Cy Haraway looks for the lead. He's on the inside line of Marcus Pett, I think has got that. Dave Ward from the front row is down to about six at the moment. Dave doesn't have the advantage of having raced yesterday, so getting up to speed in that, sh in that uh, shared team car. It was Mike Borner who ran the car yesterday. Marcus Pett on the inside line here, and Sean Smith round the outside line. The Buckinghamshire driver challenging well. Sean had a difficult opening to the meeting with uh, an oil pipe coming loose yesterday so really is on the hunt for points and the man he's next to there Miles Rudman with John Mickle all three of those top drivers in the championship standings in car with Jack Parker yesterday's winner not up in terms of the overall championship because he missed a meeting earlier on in the year due to an injury but here to not make up the numbers, here to try and win races and win meetings outright that he did yesterday. Superb meeting from Jack Parker, the Midland based driver. James Hall Morton busy chasing the van of Nathan Anthony and Miles Rudman side by side. That's the battle of the championship there. John Mickle is passed by Miles Rudman, but it's Cy Haraway out front. Haraway, Pett, Sean Smith in third place. Sean starting to get a bit of momentum after yesterday. Miles Rudman and John Mickle. We've got all of the. Uh, most of the main championship protagonists up towards the front of the field here and that's quite unusual when you think that the grid is drawn by ballot so they've got to the front they must have started pretty much near each other and got to the front of the field very quickly in the race so it means they're probably going to be all together all the way through races one and two possibly if they score well of course for the third and final race as we go in car with will gibson looks to the outside line checks inside as well it's cy haraway who's overdue a win here he's out front so it hasn't uh, the car hasn't looked as sharp. Maybe the uh, maybe needs a fresh motor perhaps in the car. Jack Parker still working hard. Great shots from the 13 car. Here's the run out of Palmer Corner downhill slightly in towards Agostini. Will Gibson's going to set up a pass here, I think, maybe on the inside line. Haraway's still there, and up into third goes Miles Rudman. Third on the inside line of Sean Smith. Sean Smith down to fourth. John Mickle next up from Nathan Anthony. James Hall Morton. So many of these drivers up towards the sharp end have won races. Can't think of any other championship where we've had as many drive different drivers winning championships this year certainly over the ones I work on the Legends Championship has had the most different race winners this season it's Cy Haraway out front Marcus Pett maintaining second position let's watch Smith and Rudman uh, Smith bump drafting Rudman that's going to help him pass Marcus Pett Works for him, goes through on the inside line, now switch to the outside of Cy Haraway, and then not only do they get into third place, but first and second. So it's Miles Rubman leading classic bump drafting from the Legends cars. You can see there that Smith using one of the screens that Mike Schluck was talking about. I'm not sure there's any mechanical advantage to that, or I dare say an aerodynamicist might, might want to question that, but just uh, simply it keeps the working environment I think a little bit better from what Mike Schluck was saying so Miles Rudman out front now with Sean Smith those two had a side-by-side -side finish yesterday with Smith being forced onto the grass if you if you haven't seen our ninth program then you, you need to open that one up and have a look at it 
because there was some superb racing coming into uh, that day as Jack Parker now hooks up with John Mickle, the quick steel car. He's, uh, it goes wide and through on the inside line goes Jack Parker past John Mickle. So John, the multi-champion, still second in the championship standings here as Sean Smith continues to battle with Miles Rudman. Cy Haraway still there in third. Will Gibson, you can see now on the back end of the Savan, Nathan Anthony, fingers crossed that Nathan gets some finishes today. The first for Vans machine, superb as ever, has been entertaining crowds at Carfest prior to coming to this meeting, as I think did uh, James Hall Morton and uh, some other drivers from the Legends. Cam Gibson down the inside line, but you can see Nathan Anthony, he's fighting hard, here they come into shot, well, they're out of shot now, because we're back with Marcus Pett, who's got back into third now, Cy Haraway fourth, Jack Parker fifth place, wide moment from James Hall Morton, but I think has kept it all going in the right direction, ultimately out of Agostini, down into Hamilton, Leaders already through Oggies and on the short straight down towards Williams corner, which takes him onto the back straight. In car with Jack Parker again, looking back. Cy Haraway trying to keep tabs on him. Might be able to try and maybe work with Jack Parker, who got a lovely bit of opposite lock there. A little bit of drifting as he came out of Williams corner. Onto the back straight, down towards the left-hander at Brundle. Here is Parker, got some speed, down the inside line, up into third place, another podium beckoning here for the Wolverhampton youngster, goes through, Marcus Pett next up from Cy Haraway. Love the way Parker just clatters the curbs, trying to close in on first and second in the race, looking at uh, Nick Bridgman. And ahead of him is Rob King from pit lane, there's Rob, the third of these cars, has caught up with... 31, Rob Fountain, the number three car, Mike Schlipp, the Sussex driver, and then Rob King, who's come through from the pit lane. Wasn't too happy about having to take that start due to the the uh, judicial on the on the previous race, the race three from yesterday's round, where, as I said, he finished without a bumper. Just wanted to get out and finish the race. But uh, Rob King continues his chase up the field. About to challenge Mike Schlipp, we'll have more for you after the break. So Sean Smith out front now from Miles Rudman. Jack Parker is in third place in car with Nick Bridgman. This was the battle we were looking at just before we went to break. Rob King at the head of that. Mike Schlerp having a quick look down the inside line. Let's see whether Mike can make the pass hard on the brakes. Good move there from Mike Schlerp. Passes Rob Fountain, the former champion. So Nick Bridgman in the blue 68 car there as well, and we've got the 99 car. That is our first look at Chris Needham on track as Will Gibson closes up on John Mickle Bay. Mickle's got his hand out to the window, he's got a problem. That is a very, very rare sight, seeing John Mickle having a car problem. Nathan Anthony closes in on Will Gibson, but we very rarely see. I can't think John's, John hasn't had a DNF this year, and that is really going to put the strain on his championship chances. He's still going to be right up at the sharp end, but a non-finish is not what the man from Horsham wanted. And I'll reiterate a very, very rare event. The, the car preparation, something pops off the car there. The car preparation for Mickle Motorsport is absolutely superb round on round. You've only got to look at his consistent finishes and high finishes that have taken him to so many championship winning titles and John Mickle is out of this race, major, major story. There is John, Marshall Power I think needed to get him back to paddock, hopefully it's not such a big problem as we've got some big smoke billowing there and that's Cy Haraway, another major championship player's got a problem, Haraway's engine looks like it's gone, he hasn't really looked on it so far this week, he's about the sharp end and spins around, maybe on his own oil. So he's out of it, here we go with Will Gibson, you can see Haraway's car on the outside line. Now what's their oil, is their oil down? It looks like Will Gibson's okay. Miles Rudman out front, Jack Parker is second, Sean Smith third. And we're on to the last lap of this opening race of the day. Jack Parker challenging hard, wants to grab another win. Miles Rudman here will, will if he, I don't know if he knows that John Mickle's out of the race. He'll want to win anyway to get maximum points, but this will extend his championship lead if he can hold on to it. Marcus Pett back in fourth. Down into Agostini. Jack Parker will know, Sean Smith will know that if they're close enough, they could have a slingshot of a run out of the final corner of this lap. That's still about two miles away. 
as they go through the infield section. Mike Schlup still up ahead of the 31 car of Rob Fountain. Nick Bridgman going round the outside of him. Fountain grabs the inside line back and ahead of them in the 99 car is Chris Needham who's got up into the top 10 on his Legends debut right from the back, the multi-supercar champion driving superbly. Remember as a new driver you start right at the back of the grid for your first uh, two meetings. Jack Parker challenging for the lead. Outside line on Miles Rudman, but I think Miles has got it covered as they come into Brundle. Now round into the right-hander, Nelson corner. Sean Smith challenging for third. Jack Parker still trying to get onto the rear end of the number seven car, but it's the Sutton Coldfield driver. Miles Rudman, it's a bit of a Midlands route here, isn't it? A one-two with the Southern driver, Sean Smith, in third place. Then Marcus Pett, the man from Boston, in fourth position. Jack Parker under pressure from Sean Smith. And Parker wants to attack Rudman for the lead, but he's got to defend for P2. Out of Murray's corner. This is the run along centre straight now, up towards the chequered flag for race one of round 10 of the 24-hour Solutions Legends Cars Championship. Jack Parker bump jumping now, out of the draft, up towards pit lane, towards the chequered flag, and it's Miles Rudman that took it from Parker. Sean Smith grabs a podium in third, Marcus Pett fourth. Here comes Mike Schlurp, still ahead of Rob Fountain. Mike's going to grab a ninth place. Chris Needham, eighth ahead of him. And Nick Bridgman is in 11th place at the moment, following Rob Fountain in red and black across the line. They take the checker. Well, we lost three good drivers in that race. Cy Haraway, James Hall Morton and John Mickle all non-finishing. It means that Miles Rudman will extend the championship lead. Rudman the winner, Parker second, Smith third, Pet fourth from Will Gibson and Nathan Anthony. Paul Simmons in seventh, then Chris Needham, Great debut in eighth, Mike Schlup ninth from Rob Fountain in tenth. Nick Bridgman takes eleventh from Dave Ward, Rob King and Bill Reed. Fastest lap going to the man who finished second, car number 13, Jack Parker. Good race to get our programme underway. Miles Rudman bags another win, extends the championship lead. Let's have a word with him. Miles, four cars for the lead that time going across the line on the last lap. But for you, another win. Congratulations for that and extending that championship lead. Yeah, that's um, what I'm looking for, points. I mean, uh, I would have been happy with the top three, but first, even better. It's more points in the bag, and like you say, I was really close. Um, I sort of didn't want to be where I was in first throughout most of the race, but managed to hold my own and, and get the win, which I'm really happy about. Jack, so not content with the winning yesterday, another podium here and really marking yourself out as one of the fastest Legends races at the moment. It's an uh, exciting race, uh, starting from the uh, one from the back. It's uh, Yeah, it was good, it was exciting and just a shame, I just couldn't get miles right at the end, but I'd take the second. Uh, yeah, it's a good race, enjoy this. Sean, two podiums on the bounce if we bring forward the previous rounds one. Great pace and more importantly, great racing again from the Legends. Yeah, car was uh, car was be a lot better today as it was yesterday in the final. As we finished off, really, so it uh, just had a check over last night and uh, it started as we finished yesterday. The key thing, isn't it, with the problems you had in the previous round early on, to get those behind you, get into a positive mindset, and just keep banging in those podiums. Yeah, that's it. It's top threes, top fours is what you need to do and uh, avoid the DNFs. Sorry, sorry to see the smoke coming out of your car. Ultimately, retirement, what happened? Yeah, I mean, we had a good start to the race. Um, just got to the front, Marcus was there pushing us. And, uh, you know, it was one of those where we were all, I think we were all waiting until the last couple of laps to sort it all out. And then um, I came across the start finish line and um, there was a little bit of smoke coming from the front end of the engine, got to the fast right at the end um, of the pit straight and uh, just spun on my own oil and what it was was the um, the front uh, oil feed pipe to the engine the uh, oil union had snapped clean off so oil coming straight straight out of the engine uh, pumping out of the engine so um, I'm hoping that the engine's okay that we haven't done any damage to it but um, yeah we'll see just really unlucky. Marcus another thrilling legends race and you were part of that quartet right at the front so just wanted to get your perspective on it. Yeah it was a yeah like I say another close battle we was uh, in the mix there towards the end and yeah it was a nice five five person battle for the whole race until Sai looked like he had a problem coming on the last lap and yeah nearly got a run for the third on the line but just not quite but we'll take that car better than yesterday I mean a good point scoring day it, it looked on paper yesterday but not not stunningly high 
No, no, we're, we're much happier with that. We, we, we had a solid day yesterday, kept picking up points, but yeah, that, that was good. And it, challenging for the podium is uh, where we want to be. So we'll push on um, starting from the back in this next one. So we'll, we'll try and push as far forward as we can. John, disappointed to see you pull up out of that one. But um, unbelievable, your first DNF of the year and we're, we're you know, within touching space at the end of the season. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a gutter really. Got some mechanical failures with the engine somewhere. We don't know what it is. We'll have to get back and have a look at it. But yeah, you, you can't have four to have any DNFs and that's the first one and uh, it could hurt us. Change the engine though, how quick was that? Oh, I think it was about 20 minutes, so it weren't too bad. We get a bit of dab hand at it, so yeah, it's all changed back in, so nice fresh one, so let's see how this one goes. The championship's still not out of reach because yesterday, again, we didn't see on the podium, but really good healthy point scoring. Yeah, no, we had um, some issues yesterday, as obviously uh, with the points, um, got some taken away from us, but it is what it is. We've just got to regroup. I think it's out of touch with me now. I think it's uh, Miles or Sean's, to be fair. Um, we've just got to keep on battling away and hope they're having some DNS. The 24 hour solutions, National Legends, cars round 10, race two about to get underway. Looking back from front row runner Nick Bridgman, Jack Parker to his outside. Row two, Nathan Anthony on the outside, Mike Schlup inside. We are racing and it's Jack Parker looking around the outside line. Miles Rudman in black and yellow, the championship leader is next up and goes into Rich's corner with this is Nick Bridgman. Rudman still on the outside line, couldn't make the places stick. So Nathan Anthony challenging for second, Jack Parker leading, Anthony in second, Nick Bridgman there in blue on the inside line, then a 51 of Paul Simmons, Miles Rudman next up. And Rudman runs a little bit wide, Will Gibson trying to close down on him, three wide on the run down towards Palmer corner. Bridgman I think squeezed on the outside line in blue as well, indeed he is, it's Jack Parker with a, a very unlegends like lead at the moment, with Nathan Anthony in second having a much better day of things in the van, as now down the inside line comes Rudman, Miles Rudman challenging for third, inside line there of James Hall Morton, Will Gibson through, then the chrome machine of John Mickle, in car with Will Gibson, shown a real good turn of speed this weekend, up to six in the standings Will Gibson, timing could be crucial for Will Gibson, possibly up for maybe a top three, was a little bit of contact up front there, you can see James Hall Morton T-boned in front of somebody and I think out of the race Nick Bridgman takes avoiding action, could have been worse, not great for the cars that were involved there as the pack makes its way down Bentley straight, you can see the crowds in the background here enjoying the action on the infield, there's a three miles worth of circuit inside and outside for the spectators to enjoy the racing so it's to one of the, the venues that affords so much great viewing all the way around through bombhole go the cars Paul Simmons up ahead of Cy Haraway then Marcus Pett Marcus is now fourth in the championship Cy Haraway down to fifth after that non-finish in the previous race and John Mickle down to third now behind Sean Smith, so Jack Parker trying to get up into the top ten after his uh, miss of the doubleheader at Brands Hatch, but just racing for racing's sake now, I'm very much enjoying it, I've got to say this weekend, is Jack Parker really showing with no pressure on for him as the cars go across the line, superb sound these 1250 Yamaha engines make, Simmons and Haraway working hard, Cy Haraway trying to get back up into fourth position in the championship, Will Gibson on the inside line of Nathan Anthony makes up the place, John Mickle there busy trying to close down on Nathan as well, and then Sean Smith is there as well, Sean Smith the new second place man in the championship in car number 21, now who would have thought that yesterday after his DNF in the race one of round nine, really resilient stuff from Sean Smith, but it's Jack Parker out front now from Miles Rudman, who's closed in on him, so Rudman looking for a victory here, Smith back behind John Mickle trying to close in, then a, a gap back to Paul Simmons, Cy Haraway, Marcus Pett, Mike Schlup well up there as well, Dave Ward in the mix too, out of the Agostini hairpin, the camera angle never quite shows it as a hairpin, but it is one tight corner for these guys to have to negotiate, there is Smith now challenging John Mickle,
On board, looking back from the race leader at championship leader, Miles Rudman, who gets closer, closer in the draft, makes the move, challenging for the lead and gets it. Great move by Rudman along the straight into Brundle Corner. Now into Nelson. Rudman, the championship leader, is going to extend the lead here as well. Jack Parker second, Will Gibson third, Sean Smith, who is second in the championship, up ahead of third place championship man John Mickle. Those positions having switched around with John's retirement in race number one today. Rudman, Parker and Gibson. Parker and Gibson had some stunning racing yesterday and it's almost as if they're in formation again today. Maybe not because Gibson makes a very decisive move out of Murray's onto centre straight, up into second place. Parker down to third. There's Chris Needham enjoying his second Legends Cars race and superbly from the back into the top ten first time around. And I don't think he's going to be too far away from that in this race. Robin Fountain chasing James Hall Morton. Those two continue after shenanigans earlier on in this one and, and they'll get some points out of this but it's just not been James Hall Morton's weekend neither Robin Fountain who was telling me he's had more problems this weekend than he had in his entire championship winning year back in the year 2000 and let's hope that he keeps on keeps on going as he did in 2000 and uh, he will be up towards podium pace very shortly Race leaders coming down in towards Agostini. Marcus Pett there at the back of Sharp, dicing with Cy Haraway. They're behind Paul Simmons and Nathan Anthony. There is Simmons in 51. Cy Haraway is going to be important for him to finish ahead of Marcus Pett here. Those two dicing for fourth and fifth in the championship. Pett with a 10 point advantage over Cy after Cy's retirement now as James Hall Morton closes in on Robin Fountain. Good battle between those two, but again, after the incident earlier on, some serious ground to make up. Bill Reid immediately in front of them in the 67 car, who starts each race as a gentleman driver from the back of the field, just enjoying his track time as much as anything else. There's Jack Parker, works with Will Gibson, passes Miles Rudman. So Parker back up into P2, it's Will Gibson leading, Jack Parker second, and Sean Smith's joined in with the lead trio to make it a quartet. Jack Parker, wide line there, and that was decisively to grab the inside on the switchback. Super move by Jack Parker, down the inside line of Will Gibson, and here comes Sean Smith, who's got a very good turn of speed now in fourth place. So it's four cars for the Legends Cars lead here. Superb racing. Jack Parker out front. There is Nick Bridgman in the 68, up ahead of Chris Needham. Newcomer to racing. Both newcomers relatively to Legends. Obviously, the 99 car, absolute newcomer, as we ride on board with Jack Parker, who's slowing. Jack Parker's got a problem. Jack Parker. It now becomes a trio for the leaders. Jack Parker, he pulls over to the side of the track, won't want to do any more damage to, I'm assuming, the engine. Will Gibson is, is past. Sean Smith up into second place. Miles Rudman with a decent enough lead at the moment. Dave Ward goes through. Mike Schlum. Then Nick Bridgman, Nick who come into, came into Legends Cars Racing with no motor racing experience, and Chris Needham coming in with bags of supercar experience. So just go back to my earlier comment to try and explain that. I didn't get to finish it, and this race isn't finished yet either, with Miles Rudman still there. Sean Smith in second, Will Gibson third, Cy Haraway is leading the chasers. John Mickle is there as well. Mickle is going to lose a little bit more ground on Sean Smith in this race. But significantly, though, as ever, the number four car still scoring consistent points. And remember, we've got Pembray, doubleheader there, six races of Pembray, another six races of Brands Hatch in November towards the end of the season. But Rudman and Smith, one and two in the championship, working together on this last lap to try and pull away from Will Gibson. Here comes Sean Smith down the inside line. This is what Rudman did to grab the lead earlier on on Jack Parker, but can't quite do it. Sean Smith still in P2, turns in, a little bit tighter than Rudman, looks for the gap, he's got it. Sean Smith coming through on the inside line, but Miles Rudman might be able to brave it out on the outside. Well, I tell you what, he's going to lose second here because Gibson's going through as well. Smith leads, Gibson second, but Rudman gains momentum around Corum. Look at that great shot from Gibson's car. And superb driving from Miles Rudman to consolidate second. Sure, he would have wanted the lead back, and that's what he's trying to do now on Sean Smith. Out of Murray's, along centre straight. Very slightly uphill towards the chequered flag. Surely Sean Smith's going to win unless we see a run here from Miles Rudman. 
up to the flag, Smith wins, Rubman second, Will Gibson in third place, fourth position, John Mickle up ahead of Cy Haraway, Marcus Pett is next, then Nathan Anthony, another good finish for Nathan, Rob King in ninth place, Nick Bridgman bags another uh, top ten and we'll get the official result for you shortly, but Sean Smith takes an emphatic win, very well timed, and fastest lap, confirmation of that. Miles Rudman second from Will Gibson, John Mickle, Cy Haraway, Marcus Pett sixth from Nathan Anthony and Paul Simmons, then Rob King, Nick Bridgman, as I mentioned, in 10th place, 11th goes to Chris Needham, another good drive from him ahead of Dave Ward and Mike Schlerp, James Hall Morton 14th ahead of Rob Fountain and Bill Reed. The only non-finisher was Jack Parker. Super race, Sean Smith, gritty racer is Sean Smith after problems yesterday, has kept his head down all through the rest of yesterday's racing and today to take the win in race number two. Sean, congratulations, another race that could have gone any which way, but superb action once again, congratulations on the win. Yeah, really good, really happy. Um, car's getting quicker all weekend as it goes, racing with the same people all the time. Uh, Championships tightening up as well, it's, you know, every, everybody looking, doing the sums, doing the maths, really we don't know where it's going to end up. It'll go to Brands Hatch, probably six drivers that can win it, I reckon, at Brands Hatch possibly. It'll be very close at the end. Miles, I know you wanted points, but you led that one on several occasions, but uh, Sean just managed to pip you, but podium positions, ha happy with that or did you want, oh, you wanted to win? Of course I wanted to win, yeah, but no, I'm very happy with that. Um, points is uh, what we're looking for, so and consistency, but I'm definitely happy with second place. Well, back on the podium again, so not turning out to be a bad weekend points-wise for you. Uh, yeah, we're having another solid weekend, a bit like Donington. Uh, second half of the year has been fantastic for us so far. Got one more race this weekend to go. Hopefully momentum will keep going, and then we just need to take it into Pembury and Brands, and you never know what will happen. Jack, sorry to see the retirement from the race. What, what's the story? Uh, coming into the last lap, uh, just lost all power. We believe we broke a crank. It's uh, just lost all compression, and uh, it's a sham, uh, shame for the end of the uh, weekend. But uh, we've had good results. We can't moan at the race, it's been brilliant. But uh, we're just going to pack away and just that's it now. That motor's done you proud this weekend, isn't it? Up, up to today, sadly. I understand you've got a spare, but you're going to save that. Yeah, um, it has. It's done really well. It's uh, it's a shame we couldn't leave it till the weekend, get back to the engine builder, they looked at it, get back in. But um, we have got a spare, but there's, we're not going to bother putting it in for the last race. Uh, we'll go home on a high. Dave, I think fresh back from the clerk of the course's office. I think you and Mike Schlerp had, had already had a chat and sorted it out, but I think the officials like to rubber stamp things. Is that the way it was? Yeah, that's basically all it was. Um, Mike out braked himself into the second corner uh, and tapped me around, uh, and then he came out in front of me. Uh, but the next corner, he pulled over, let me back through. So it, it was good. That's quite, of course, was quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. So we continue to race in, no problems at all. So from, from the point of view of viewers, nothing uh, overly serious, but the clerk likes to look at it, just chat to you, make sure that everybody's happy. It's not just the, the overly serious events that the clerks get involved with, is it? No, they, they keep an eye on the whole race. And every, every incident that goes on, they will see. Uh, and then later, they just keep on top of what's happening, keep making sure the drivers know that they're being watched all the time. Uh, and he just wanted to clear, clarify what went on. Uh, we told him, well, Mike told him what was going on. I was quite happy with everything that Mike said uh, and Mike corrected it on the next corner, so we're all good. Front row of the grid, Cy Haraway on the outside, James Hall Morton to his inside, John Mickle on row two. We've got some big names on the front of the grid and another big name, former champion Robin Fountain starting from pit lane. Not been a great weekend for any of the names that I've mentioned at the start of race number three. This one will determine who wins the day overall, but it's the top point scorer from the three races that goes home with the silverware. We are 24 hour solutions, Legends Cars racing once again down into Rich's corner, away goes Robin Fountain, great start from pit lane for him, in car with Rob King, you can see James Allmorton and Dave Ward just to the inside, James coming through, it's Cy Haraway leading from John Mickle at the moment, Dave Ward in third place as they come out of the hairpin, Miles Rudman again has a little excursion off on the dirt, challenged by Will Gibson, around the outside goes Sean Smith, Sean 
with third and first, the top scorer on the day so far. Another decent race result here. We'll see him bag the overall round win. The trophy that goes with that. And Short also will, of course, consolidate second in the championship. He's very close at the moment in second with John Mickle in third position in the standings. And Cy Haraway is up front at the moment in this race is joint fourth with Marcus Pett there. Marcus was in the 79 car. So whoever finishes in front in this race will go home with fourth position in the championship as we head to Pembrey in South Wales. On board with Rob King, Mike Schlerp immediately in front. And you can see James Hall Morton a little way in front as well. They're in the 32 car. Points from races one and two added together. Give us the grid for race three with the lowest scoring drivers starting at the front. Here is Will Gibson. Will and Marcus Pett looking down the inside line here of Mick Bridgman in the 68. John Mickle still up at the sharp end of things. James Hall Morton in up at the front end as well. So James there just behind Dave Ward at the moment. There's Rob King in 74. Then Nathan Anthony, Miles Rudman, Paul Simmons is next up. It's some long shadows now as uh, this weekend has unfolded the latter part of uh, second day of racing here at Sneddon on the 300 circuit as John Mickle now grabs the lead Mickle the leader Cy Haraway in second place so John Mickle again good consistent point scoring from John and his aim here is to just try and peg back Sean Smith in the championship standings if he can Mickle across the line Cy Haraway second three-way battle for third there's Rob King on the outside line here, Nathan Anthony being bump drafted by Miles Rudman who comes out of that move, looks down the inside line, nips over the grass to Miles Rudman in car with Will Gibson. Might get track limits for that, I guess, if he kicks up dirt that, that often, Miles Rudman. We've, we've seen a couple of drivers doing that over the course of the meeting. Clark of the course will certainly be looking at that. I think it was a a one-off there, one-off you're OK with. Many clerks will say that if you don't do at least one track limits infringement, you're not trying, as John Mickle leads this third race here at Snetterton. John Mickle leads being aided and abetted there by Cy Haraway. They're trying to break away from the field making the most of unusually front row starts for race three, Mickle and Haraway. Rest of the field going through. Here is the view again, looking back from Nick Bridgman. Blue sky, superb weather we've had today. Marcus Pett right behind at the moment. Marcus will see fourth place in the championship for the moment, just ebbing away slightly on the grass there, I think was Nathan Anthony. Hard on the brakes down into the hairpin. Miles Rudman dicing with Rob King. You can see Miles up front now, and across goes Sean Smith. Second in the championship, Will Gibson goes through as well. Rob King still dicing hard as John Mickle continues to lead. Downhill in towards Agostini. Third place at the moment is James Hall Morton, but for how long? Because Miles Rudman tees up the inside line. Can't quite do it. James, race winner at Brands Hatch earlier in the season. Second generation Legends driver. Hangs on to third place. Nick Bridgman giving chase as well, still in the 68 car, so. This is the battle for third place. James Hall Morton there at the moment. Still Cy Haraway in second in black. Just out of shot at the moment. So Hall Morton followed by Mike Schlerp, then Miles Rudman. Mike Schlerp having a good race here as well in the number three car. So now watch Rudman in the black and yellow car being picked up by Sean Smith. Those two will work with each other down the main straight. Mike Schlerp has a look at the inside line here of James Hall Morton's going to make the pass. Let's have a look. The race leader's coming through. The race leader's not getting away. Mike Schlerp having a very good look, though, at James Hall Morton. Good racing between the pair of them. Was there a little bump or bounce there? And it's still James next up. Sean Smith makes the move on the inside line, and Miles Rudman goes through. Rudman now coming under pressure from Will Gibson. Then we've got Rob King in the black and red 74. In car with Nick Bridgman passes Miles Rudman as well. And Rudman's dropping back. Miles Rudman's got a problem in the seven car. Another major surprise in the two-day proceedings here at Snetterton. The championship leader has got a problem. Rudman dropping like a stone. The two yellow fellas involved there. Paul Simmons up ahead of Nathan Anthony. Nathan, thankfully, has had a better day. It's John Mickle here. In years gone by, if John was out the front, there is the championship leader, Miles Rudman, pulling up and is out of the race. Now, Miles was on 4,000... 
375 points and Sean Smith on 3-9 and that's effectively halved his championship lead another one of those at Pembrey six races there or six races at Brands another one of those and that could be his championship over so back to the race and it's Nick Bridgman there up ahead of Marcus Pett Marcus not up with uh, Cy Haraway at the moment as the number seven car is pushed into the garage. Sad end to the weekend for Miles Rubman, but has scored well. Also out of the race is our pit lane starter. That's Robin Fountain, who is in retirement too. The 2000 champion, sadly, a disappointing weekend for Robin. I'm sure he'll he'll bounce back as Sean Smith outbreaks himself, goes wide. John Mickle reclaims the lead. Will Gibson going through now, so it's Gibson second. Mickle, the... Leader Cy Haraway back in fourth place. Now, not so long ago, if John Mickle was in the lead of a race, you'd say, oh, well, that's it for legends. John's away in the lead, he'll pull away. But it's such a competitive championship, so, so much more competitive these days. And uh, John will be looking in his mirrors. There's Will Gibson being followed by Sean Smith. Now Cy Haraway looks down the inside line as well. Superb racing, Haraway up into second, that was very brave stuff from Haraway, Haraway second behind Mickle, and that's where they were earlier on in the race, Sean Smith is third, Will Gibson side by side with James Hall Morton, Mike Schlupp's still up with him as well, but Paul Simmons in front of Mike now, Mike's driving a super race here, sadly, championship leader Miles Rudman looks, uh, doesn't look overly cross, as Nathan Anthony, having said what a great weekend he was having, limping around a little bit at the moment, sadly, in the Savannah. It has got, gotten slightly better for him in uh, day two, but not a huge amount in our third and final race. Across the line, I thought it was a duo, but it's three of them. Sean Smith in third, Cy Haraway looks down the inside line now. Haraway gets the lead, Mickle down to second, John Mickle down to third. There is Nathan Anthony into pit lane, sadly, in the Savannah as the battle for the lead continues and Sean Smith now has got the lead in 21 but Cy Haraway's got the line as they come down into the left-hander at Palmer Will Gibson's got the box seat of a battle in front of him as well Gibson with you can see Sean Smith in the red and black car in the mix as well they're going to try and get Nathan back out really quick change with with a three mile lap there is every chance that nathan anthony could well get out before the race leaders come through and the battle for the lead continues now Cy haraway's there will gibson through on the inside line looking back from will there is sean smith as well in the mix right behind us is the number four chrome car of john mickle ben james or who looks quite sharp in this one as well looks like they've managed to get the car sorted out same two with the van, Nathan Anthony doesn't lose a lap, he's still on the lead lap, rejoins in 14th position, great work by Nathan's crew, and Nathan will at least finish the race, and we hope he'll finish the race, with some more mileage here around Snetterton as the battle continues, Cy Haraway still out front, Will Gibson, look at that, a three-way train, James Hall Morton at the back of the train here, now comes out of the slipstream, looks down the inside line, James having a look at multi-champion John Nickel. James' dad, of course, Pete Morton, former world champion, National Legends cast champion himself, went out to the States to beat the Americans on home tarmac, as indeed John Nickel has done over the years as well. We've we produced so many great Legends cast drivers here in the UK, not just at the pro level, but at the semi-professional level as well. So there is Sean Smith. Sean, the race leader, is he going to make it a double here? Two wins and a third place will make him the overall day's victor, if that is the case. Cy Haraway still running well. Good to see James Hallmorton scoring some decent points here, but let's not speak too soon as they go. Well, now, who's got a black and white driving standards flag? Can't see that from here as Will Gibson continues to work with Mike Schlerp. Dave Ward is there in behind them as well. Nick Bridgman looking on the inside line and Nick's going to make the move. Good pass here from Bridgman. Read that well, makes the inside line stick back with the battle for the lead. It's still Sean Smith there. Paul Simmons is third. Paul Simmons here could be well placed as we're on the last lap. Might be able to get another win here. This is what he did at Donington Park, remember. Grabbed his second career win and being in third place here, it might work for him. John Mickles in fourth, but Sean Smith is going to consolidate second in the championship here. He will halve the gap back to Miles Rudman, and John Mickle, with Miles' retirement, will be thinking, actually, you know, the championship 
had started to slip away a little bit, but now it brings it all back in, and we've still got an incredible number of races to go before the end of the season. And it's Sean Smith out front. Cy Haraway back on the pace. He's in P2. Paul Simmons is third. John Mickle fourth. Here they come out of Williams' corner onto the Bentley straight. That long, long run where if you're close enough, you can pick up the draft. Mickle maybe is going to pick up the draft here as Haraway comes out of the air and looks around the outside line to try and take the lead. Wasn't quite room to do that, didn't quite have the momentum. But you saw the, the thought process of Cy Haraway there, who wanted to gun for the win. It wasn't doable from there, but Cy will close down on Sean Smith and have a go at Corum. Haraway looks on the inside line, but look at that. Sean Smith shows him a little bit of room, but also shows him some pace and momentum around Corum corner. It's all going to come on the run into Murray's here, the 90-degree right-hander now along centre straight. Has Sean Smith done enough to win? There's the battle for third place. James Hall Morton still there at the moment in sixth position. Up towards the flag. Sean Smith knows he's got it in the bag. Barry Smith taking the win. Haraway second. Paul Simmons third. John Mickle in fourth place. Another superb legends race. Here comes Ron King running in 12th place out of Murray's corner and up towards the chequered flag. But it's Sean Smith who will win the day outright. He wins round 10. Jack Parker won round nine yesterday. Sean Smith today's overall winner with two wins and a third place in reverse grid racing. I commend that fact to you. Smith the winner, Cy Haraway second from Paul Simmons and John Mickle. Will Gibson in fifth from James Hall Morton and Marcus Pett. Dave Ward eighth, Mike Schlupp in ninth. Then Nick Bridgman in the top 10 once again. Chris Needham was 11th in his third Legends Cars race. Then Rob King, Bill Reed 13th. Nathan Anthony, 14th non-finishes for Robin Fountain and Miles Rudman. Fastest lap on that one went to Will Gibson, who finished in fifth place. The applause is for all of our drivers and, of course, our race winner in the 21 car, Sean Smith, who wins races two and three and will also take the overall day's points. There is Cy Haraway in second position. Let's grab a word with our double winner, Sean Smith. Sure, another super win and a, a frantic legends race once again. The longer races must take out. You, you still, you've been out a couple of minutes, but you still look puffed out. Yeah, that's it. It was hard work. Um, there's so much going on. We started obviously near the back, um, and it's just working your way forward and getting as far forward as you can. Yeah, when things started yesterday, it was a tricky start to the weekend. But now here you are. I think I don't know where the points are, but you, I think, won the day today, and it's helped your championship no end. Yeah, that's it. We gained a lot of points today. Not so good yesterday. Gained a lot today. Oh, I'm just going to close it all up again. Oh, very good. So, congratulations. Finally got you on the, the podium this weekend. It's a game of ups and downs, isn't it, all weekend? Yeah, absolutely. We've had a, a few mechanicals this weekend, but that's racing. Uh, but really enjoyed that race. You know, you've, you've got to pair up with somebody, and that person was John, and I just thought we'd just push on together. We both knew what we were trying to do, and I thought we'll sort it out on the last couple of laps. But then, obviously, I saw Sean coming, and I know how fast he's been today, so we had to do something um, but yeah fantastic I'm really pleased with second there was no point in doing anything silly and trying to lunge for the lead it's just not worth it you know so I've just brought it home in second I'm happy with that and well done to Sean and his team Paul uh, a frenetic weekend a long weekend here at Snetterton but a second podium for you happy with that yeah very happy yeah I uh, mucked up the second one because I was in fourth and then on the, I thought it was a, on the last lap and I backed out and that's when four of them come past me but, but no it was a good weekend I enjoyed it we enjoyed it too. And so did Sean Smith, who takes the victory in round 10 ahead of Will Gibson. Marcus Peck completing our overall day podium. Paul Simmons was fourth. Miles Rudman fifth ahead of Nathan Anthony. And then Cy Haraway, John Mickle, Mike Schlup, and Nick Bridgman. As we head to Pembrey, the championship standings look like this. Miles Rudman, the leader now from Sean Smith. John Mickle in third. Cy Haraway consolidates fourth ahead of Marcus Peck and Will Gibson. Paul Simmons seventh from Connor Mills. James Hall Morton and Jack Parker. Well, that's round 10 of the 24-hour Solutions National Legends Cars Championship for 2019 complete here at Snetterton. We're off to Wales, so we look forward to your company next time at Pembrey. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.